recent study found that men who ask for raises have a better success rate than women. Our chief business correspondent, Betty Jarvis, here with some tips on how to increase your odds. Good morning. Hey, George. Good morning to you. Yeah, that's right. According to this new report on women in the workplace by McKinsey and Company and LeanIn.org, women are still less likely to be promoted than their male peers. And Shark Tank's Barbara Corcoran is now working to change that as both the boss and an investor. It's an issue Shark Tank's Barbara Corcoran says she's seen far too often in her career. One of the biggest things that stands in the way of a young woman or an established woman is they wait to ask for the credit long after it's due. As the boss and now an advisor, she's working to change that, investing in companies like Cousins Bane Lobster. So now you're going to go ahead and turn on your equipment? Erica Yagupsade and Sandy Gullen both work at management at Cousins Maine Lobster, and they say the company treats men and women equally. The sky's the limit for me here. And as a woman, especially now, like, this is a really cool time. Like, I felt like I could just be me, and that was it. I wasn't labeled. I was just, I was just Sandy. That culture, a breath of fresh air. Both women saying they felt undervalued in the past. I always felt like my role was maybe secondary. I felt like I had to, I had to go even like the extra mile to even think of asking for a raise. According to a recent study, while men and women might ask for raises at the same rate, men are more likely to be successful. Erica and Sandy both say they had to ask their former employers for raises numerous times before finally getting what they thought they deserved. I've always been like very timid for those reasons just because I had already put in the work. Cousins Bean Lobster owners Jim Salikas and Sabin Lomack say employee empowerment is baked into their company culture. Building an amazing team um, with men and women uh, and empowering them to have the autonomy to feel supported. Some people are just more vocal than others. So for us, I think learning um, the differences between our staff, the differences between people, and making them feel reassured, confident, happy, supported, all those good things, that's like essential. But women have to be proactive too. So what can women do to distinguish themselves? You have to act as though you believe yourself and communicate that very strongly. Men will use language like, I want, I expect, here's what I do, here's what I want. Women will say, I wonder if you notice that I have been, <laughs> I believe I can. It's all future tense. No, men will use present tense before it even exists. Is there an appropriate time to ask for a promotion or a raise? Yeah, you should be asking for the raise or the promotion before it's due. I think what you can do is ask for feedback frequently. You're not asking for a raise, but you're reminding them what you're doing, and you're making them accountable to acknowledge what you're doing. Clearly, there's responsibility here on both the part of the company and the employees, but Barbara says because of what she's seen in her career, she makes an effort to get ahead of it with women, and she'll promote them in many cases before they even ask before George. I said, ask. I'd like to work for you, Barbara. That would be great. Exactly. So, so we saw Barbara also say so you have to act like you believe that this is coming. How do women stand out of those meetings with their bosses? So it's really key to first off make the meetings with the boss. Set those priorities in the meetings. Talk about the fact that there have been wins. It's a great thing to say, I'm so happy happy you'll trust me with this responsibility. So putting that out there, the responsibilities that you're taking on, make lists and constantly use those lists as reminders inside of the meeting, and then set an outline, a timeline of when that raise or promotion could come in the future. All makes sense. We also have an audience question as well. Yanni is here. What do you got? Hi, yes. I wanted to know, I'm really terrible at negotiating. So what can I say to my boss when he says no to the promotion? What can I say to change his mind? So we can all be better negotiators, yes. Yanni, absolutely, every single one of us. Walk into that walk into that meeting with a list of your responsibilities. Let them know how are you going above and beyond? How are you doing things that are making you an exemplary employee? Don't focus, though, on the other employees. This is a mistake people often make. They think too much in terms of what other people are doing. The only way you want to do that is if you're going above and beyond in any way. And then make it known this is important to you. You can use an outside offer as leverage. Okay. Good advice, Rebecca. Thanks very much. Let's go to Ginger. Actually, you're right there. Yeah, I'm right here. I'm right over here. I'm thinking about it. Like, what can I do? I do TMA moments. I stand in hurricanes. Is that going to be a good chance? Let's do your GMA moment. Um, you know, I've got an eight-month-old, and he's not even close to talking. I mean, he's making noises and stuff. But what about a three-and-a-half-month-old? Take a listen. Hello. Do 
me say, I love you. Good job. I mean, it could be a coincidence, but I don't care. It is so sweet. I love it so much. Please send your GMA moments. That's William, by the way, from Charlotte, North Carolina. Send it to my Facebook page. But for now, let's get a check of what folks are.